And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Endure Spiders. It's going to be our next deck that we're going to be playing here on our Rank Up Sunday stream. We got a puppy to help us out here. This is my dog. Her name is Puppy. And uh, my other dog, Harvey, is like right here. You can't quite see her. You almost can, but can't quite. But she's, she's right there. Come here, Harvey. There. See? There she is. She's a little bit bigger. And so she does, she's not quite a lap dog, even though all dogs are lap dogs, according to them. Anyway, talk about our deck. We are going to be trying to play lots and lots of spiders and throwing waves of spiders at our opponent and just other little creatures that we don't really mind dying, like Omen Hawk, Avaros and Sentry, Hapless Aristocrat, which can make some spiders and stuff like that, and um, seeing if they get the job done. And if not, we got our top end. We got They Who Endure. Gets plus one, plus one for each ally that has died. So, you know, if we have 10, 10 things die, then suddenly this is an 11-11 Overwhelm. And, there are, and then my opponents are going to be like, wow, I wish I didn't kill all those spiders. And I'm going to be like, yep. And then uh, if they have removal for a They Who Endure, or if they tap out, we have the combo with Atrocity that we just sacrifice our They Who Endure and do a whole bunch of damage to our opponent. And they're dead. And we win. So that's, that's basically our deck in a nutshell. A lot of times, uh, this deck also plays a Ruination. I'm I'm foregoing the Ruination. There's less and less Demacia around. And just overall, I don't think that we really need Ruination. I could be wrong. You know, we'll, we'll see. But I'm going to try a Rasa instead. I feel like this Rasa is just going to get some people. And it's going to be sweet. But we'll see. Maybe Rasa is supposed to be Ruination. But, uh, yeah. Let's get let's get to it. Let's play some Endure Spiders. Yeah, Trindamir Atrocity is also a combo because you you kill you can kill your 8-4 Trindamir and turn him into a 9-9. So yeah, you can do that during combat and get your opponent. Yeah, no one plays around Rasso whatsoever. Okay, Karma Lux. I haven't seen that deck before. It's a new one. Let's get rid of Withering Whale, and I think we get rid of Glimpse Beyond. They don't do, like, lots of removal. We'll probably find another Glimpse Beyond. Honestly, maybe it should be bo should be uh, send it back Skitter also with a 3-mana three 3-2. Three what do you think, pup? Well, good thing we've drawn Grasp the Undying, Grasp the Undying, Vile Feast for our three cards. These cards aren't really going to be doing much. Not doing much. Okay. We can, we can use Grasp against that. That's not so bad. <laughs> yes, this this is very, very solid. This game is, yeah. It's very good. Yeah, no, this this is I definitely recommend getting this game. It's it's it is awesome. Puppy's very camera shy. You can tell she just got her head down. Got all this extra skin, pup. Deny. Deny. I'm gonna have my Real good time. I Alive. I, I, I. 
<laughs> Bob's like, what's that horrible singing? Sorry, Bubby. Kind of want to block Glimpse Beyond. What do you mean? So far for the three, you know, the three months I've been playing, Riot's been doing a great job of balancing. Every every month there's been a balance patch and it's been spot on every time. No, we're so we're playing against Karma Lux. We are playing um, Endure Spiders. That's not good. That's not good. You will be scoured from this land. Yeah, I suppose I will. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I don't. I don't know how Riot is at League of Legends balancing. They've, their, their Runeterra team has been has been great at balancing so far. I think this is a link. If you haven't seen, if you're kind of new or you haven't seen any of their balance stuff, yeah, that's that's where it is. The playRuneterra.com news, and then if you kind of go down to, like patch nine point four or patch nine point. You know, like, go down to, like, one of those patches, and you can see, or I guess patch 9.2, and you can kind of see how they do um, card patching and, and how they give a lot of uh, information about what they're patching and why. No, oh, stop. Two two hapless aristocrat. Where are you? No, don't play don't play stuff. I liked whenever they were just passing. at nine. Bad. I'll level up karma. I 
this is just not gonna work. It's almost like, what's the point when we know it's not gonna work? Yeah, yeah, the, you're right, like, the Karma Lux engine, late game engine is real nuts, but it's, it's difficult to get there, especially against other control decks. We just got done playing Karma Lux control, you see, we went 1-2 we went in control mirrors. Um... It, this great is this deck is great against aggro and against mid range and stuff like that like other things like it it has such good defensive properties but against other control decks um it can it can struggle and that's that's what we were finding out unfortunately all we did was play against control with it and now now that we play you know the non control because, you know, like, basically, when, when your opponents can't really kill Lux, and all they're doing is just playing things, you get to Final Spark. I mean, you, your life is so great, as you can see here. Like, it's... Your life is just amazing. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. We do have our combo, but this, you know, Ionia is the region that, that has good stuff against this combo. You know, Deny and Will of Ionia. If they don't have Deny or Will of Ionia, we could kill them. Or And, and they also can't have um, the thing that lets them gain a lot of life, either. All right, Spoopy says change the sleeves to Jinx sleeves. All right. Redeeming some points. All right, we got Jinx sleeves up next. Um, I compared this game to Magic a couple of months ago, right there. Yeah, the, the Rasa would be the Ruination, so we didn't have Rasa anyway. You know, they just had their Lux on turn 3, and I couldn't deal... Or, sorry, on turn 6. They just played their Lux on turn 6, I couldn't deal with it, and, you know. Lux is great. We had three cards, right? We had... What, just Omen Hawks, Avaros and Sentries, and Frenzied Skitters, and Removal. Didn't quite get there. Oh, Jinx! Jinx! No! Jinx leaves! I'm- I need to start remembering that. No, I'm sorry, Spoopy. Alright, next- next one. I'm- I'm so sorry. You just did that, too. I mean, I could- could- could concede and then rejoin.
All right, we'll do the next one. Keep running the Jinx Twisted Fate deck. Yeah, it's actually yeah, it's it's a little weird, but yeah, that deck's pretty good. I mean, just basically Bilgewater Twisted Fate is awesome. That's maybe my favorite thing right now. No, not not Slotbot. No. I pull the strings. Um, I think I saw the deck that you're talking about on Decks of Runeterra today. I think that's where I saw it. Hush now. No, it's not there, but it's somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't see it. Medialis, where are you? So good chance I'm not supposed to play this because now I don't get to play Brood Awakening. If I don't play that, we play Brood Awakening. Come closer. I don't fight. I was planning on passing, but since they have a lease, I want to play Skitter. Aren't we playing a lease? Don't we have that card in our deck? Go ahead. Play with your food. I think we have that card in our deck. I'm just jealous over here. Yeah, I don't know. It's there's a picture of it. I'm not sure if it's actually in there or not. No, I don't think it would be a good idea to allow three region decks. No. Playing three region decks would up the power level of the decks substantially and it would really and that would it would condense the card pool even though there may be a wider variety of decks like you could play like you know you could play even just a even a bigger variety of decks it would condense the card pool of what is playable um because so many decks would you know be, you'd always be see decks that are like two colors splashing for like some amazing cards from whatever other color combination so you'd, you'd have uh you know you'd basically have like all like every aggressive deck has boom crew rookie for example or because you know everybody can just splash for boom crew rookie um you know that kind of stuff so it would really restrict the amount uh, different amount of like different cards that are played you'd see the same cards like everywhere or even just like elise for example like you you know like elise is just in your burn decks kind of thing like you just get elise as your two drop in all your aggro decks and and stuff like that No, I don't think that you should be able to have three region decks. The biggest advantage to single region is the allegiance cards. That's really the only advantage as well. So I guess that's the biggest. All right, if I don't play anything, three, six, seven, nine. I don't really do anything with nine mana. So we'll play this. So yeah, that's that's the advantage to uh, one region is is the allegiance card and and hitting a hundred percent. If I don't do that trade, they could have another spider or something that, that challenges my 4-1. Yeah, 
Yeah, expeditions, you can have three regions. You're not building your deck, you know, from scratch or competitive. That's that's a lot different. You could have five regions in an expedition, and that's that's fine. It doesn't doesn't make really any difference. I'm doing this my way. I don't love our position right now. So, I don't know. Vi is good. They did a great job of playing around the box. Yeah, I agree. The spell mana is a great is a great addition, and uh, the turns being both players playing stuff. It's not just one person has a turn one, they play stuff, so then they get ahead faster. Both of those two things really even even the playing field, and it's it's really nice. Never worry about oh, well, this person was on the play. They played first, so they just steamrolled over because they curved out. Game, you know, games aren't really like that. You can, you both get the opportunity to play stuff, and you can also catch up because of the spell mana. So as you can tell, they're not le they're not letting Thresh level up. They're not doing these other blocks. So Thresh doesn't level up, so they can use a one damage spell to kill the Thresh. Because one more block than Thresh would level up, so that, you know they can use a Static Shock or a Vile Feast, or they could Withering Will here. They can do that kind of stuff. Nine mana. Is this gonna work? No, that's not gonna work, is it? It's not gonna level that up. A feast. A vile feast. Vi old feast. Is that like a Vi feasted in France? Vi la feast. Dead. 
they're just going to challenge the They Who Endure. I don't get to block Ledros. 0-2. Oh, Our rank up Sunday is going the wrong way. We're going the wrong way. Going the wrong way, puppy. So is, is Burn pretty dead? Yesterday we didn't play against hardly any burn, and today we haven't seen any burn. Ha! I had to say that. <laughs> Got a burn deck. Uh, sure. Is Frenzied Skitter not actually good? I wonder. Like both those games, we had, you know, frenzied skitters, and they really didn't do anything. Like, should we actually replace frenzied skitter in this deck? I must get out of here. Wow. And the worst. Writing this down in big letters right in front of me. pre recorded Okay. There we go. Now, hopefully I won't forget the card backs. Because I'm usually focused on, like, what to say. And everything like that. And I just don't I just don't even think about So I'm sorry, Spoopy. Better run. First day of me doing these card backs. I'll I'll get better. Cause it can't get any worse. <laughs> um Yeah, we're currently looking pretty good. See, is Frenzy Skitter not actually good anymore now that's a 3 2? We're currently looking good, but we'll see. Like, these. The these cards can do a crazy amount of damage. I was gonna say Boomka Rookie and Crimson Disciple, but. Like, that can really do a crazy amount of damage. We're down to 12. Unfortunately, we didn't have Thresh in play to see all those units die. I was planning on playing Thresh here and then holding up like the Withering Whales and those being like my next things to play.
Jinx. Stands for Jinx. No, Spider Aggro doesn't insta win versus burn. Not nothing really insta wins. Versus burn. Really any deck, honestly. There's not really insta wins in this game. Wow. Might? That was pretty great. That was pretty great. So we're looking at having eight. Man, I want to save three mana, but I want to play Sentry. Hmm. These old eyes still see far and clear. Can I have ten mana next turn? I really want eleven. I really want to play both of these. Yeah, like I, I have to atrocity to kill and to kill Jinx with that. Which means I probably have to Safeguard our homes. just gonna do that the thing is I just won't have a fast enough clock right now that egg. Did it move? I won't kill them in time for them to find enough uh, other burn spells yeah exactly they could have like fervor third decimate I deserve that though. I didn't switch over to the Jinx sleeves like I was supposed to. And uh, Jinx showed us what's up. They're like, Jinx was like, you're not gonna play Jinx sleeves like you're supposed to. You're gonna get punished for it. So there you go. Uh, yeah, no, Raya Vale. I don't, I don't really have my, um, I think if you go to, like, this site, I think that site has some stats on there. Alright, Jinx Draven. So yeah, I have the the channel points down in, in um, the channel points here on Twitch for those of y'all that, that watch a lot of uh, of the stream. I just set up today some rewards where you can re you can spend the channel points and you can change the sleeves or change the um, pet or even change the board. Also. And you can also, if you spend a lot of points, you can get a donation deck. I'll play your deck. Alright, so how, how did the Sejuani deck do? We lost a lot to... All, all of our losses were to Bilgewater decks. We we really struggled against like Bilgewater, 2 for 1, Twisted Fate decks. Um, we played... like They were close, Matt, close games. There's a couple of times where if they just don't kill my Ash, I, I win like with the attack with Ash Frostbite and all the stuff. But um, in the end, we just got got too many cards stolen. We had one game that they took a brittle steal that was clutch. A 
the brittle steel really saved them. They took from me. Come here, darling. <laughs> Is that all? No, I don't don't think I'm gonna do points to change ties. I'd have to like have my tie like all my ties in here and uh it's Time for the main kind, of a, kind of a mess. Not looking good. War Mason, reporting for duty. Not looking good for the home team. Make the Empire proud. If they don't break. Probably the wrong play, isn't it? I'm probably supposed to just file feast this this demolitionist, so then Withering Whale would would kill it. Also, I wanted the blocker, is what I was thinking. But yeah, that's the wrong play. I should have gotten this demolitionist. Um, don't know if. Yeah, don't know if they have like transfusion. I think at the time that I attacked, I believe, I'm not sure if this is true, I believe the reason why I didn't attack with the Elise and see if they would vile, you know, trade with Vilefees and Elise for Draven, so I think they had the 2-2 Crimson Disciple that, um, you know, they would block with block the 1-1 one, one spider with and I'd take some more damage. I think. Could be wrong there. Draven out. What? Oh. We are doing it. Just you and me, fish bones. Now it's a party. Screaming helps not a What delightful agony Yeah, this looks bad. Nice game. Jinx. 
We were at 13, and we killed their Draven. And then we didn't play any other cards. And then they just killed us. Jinx de dealt nine. Get excited, three. All right, Karina Control, we lost this one also. Maybe Frenzy Skitter is just not good. I am willing to... willing to talk about taking Fren Frenzy Skitter out of this deck. That that's just being two toughness instead of three, it dies much too easily. My favorite champ is probably Teemo. You won't suffer long. I mean we have a lot of drain in the deck, Square Slow. You said you said we need to add drain. We have we have three grasp of the undying, three withering whale. I mean there there are more cards that have drain. We could we could add more, I guess. Question is, what's the best deck against burn? That's probably. Yeah, and we have the yeah the vile feast also. Yeah, we have the three vile feasts. Um, it's probably the, the like the karma lux that we played earlier is really good against burn. The karma thresh I played a couple of days ago. I like that burn matchup. Other people are saying Karina control. Come, stay a while. How do we use Glimpse Beyond? Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to play the Plunder Control deck up next. I am... Yeah, I'm excited to play that deck. Sounds of prey. All right, so normally I would pass, let them attack, make the spider with Elise, and then cast Withering Will and kill that spider also. Normally, that's what we'd be doing. However, it's too risky with them tapped out, me having all that mana left. I kind of have these two blockers anyway. If I pass, they may just say, okay, I'll just pass also. You waste your whole turn. I level up Elise. You know, like, that's... That was a... That's a that was a very real scenario that could have happened, and that's just kind of too much of a risk. So we didn't get that extra one one with the withering whale. We, so that means we, you know we had to have the aristocrat take one damage. I do. Yep, right veil right there. That's that's the link to the stream deck for Legends of Runeterra. You click there, yep, has all the decks. I must get out of here. A 
Well, they did that in the wrong order. If they wanted to block with the 1-1. One, one. You know, they could have Vile Feast first, get the blocker, and then Static Shock. Also, we don't know what they drew off the Static Shock. They could have drawn the Vile Feast from the Static Shock, so... That could have happened. start atrocitying. <gasps> They'd rather do one damage to me than kill either of these. We're gonna lead with 9 9. Lead in the middle. Lead the, with the middle one. Question is How do you feel about Thresh, Trindamir, and the deck? Sometimes I don't think they do anything. I'm honestly not that big of a fan of Trindamir. I, I, you know, like, Trindamir is just a worse they who endure. And... Yeah, I think, I think a lot of times it doesn't do anything. I'm not a big Trindamir fan. I'm kind of playing it because everybody else plays in this deck right now. But I've definitely played this, this deck a bunch, like, the... Like, this is my first time playing this deck in, in this format. But before, in last format, I, I absolutely cut Trindamir's. I, I was playing Rasa's instead of Trindamir. Because, yeah, because Rasa does stuff. Um, and I would be... If you want to cut Trindamir, I'm all in favor of it, basically. I like Thresh, though. With that being said, I do like Thresh. I think that the Challenger is important. Um, we did see earlier that Vi really outclassed Thresh. Um, but I do like Thresh. Gives you... Gives you something that can kill... Um, some somewhat bigger... Uh, enemies can just be a, a good threat out there that's hard to deal with. That was a bunch of ruinations. Yeah, it's possible that Thresh is worse now than before, than previously. I think it's probably... Wow, I went from 206 to 206. I think it's probably I think it's probably better than other options though. I could see playing Callistas though. I do like Callista a lot. So yeah, if you just want to play a bunch of Callistas, I don't I, I feel like these frenzy skitters weren't very good. And if you just want to play you know, get rid of Frenzied Skitter, get rid of Thresh, get rid of Trindamir, play another Rasa, play some Callistas, and now you got a slot for anything. You could play a Vengeance, a Rekindler, something like that. You know, get like a Vengeance in here to take down Lux. Get a Neverglade in here. Yeah, Neverglade's great. Neverglade is pretty great. You could play Neverglade. If you want to go... Where's Neverglade? 
You want to go Neverglades and don't play Rasas? I'm all for that too. Get that drain. Like if you don't, if you want to do those and play Neverglades, I'm I'm all for that. Yeah, I mean I'm I'm all for that. That yeah, they could see that drain to gain a little life against burn. Kind of goes in the the thresh slot. Callista replace frenzied skitterer. Neverglade replace thresh. Yeah, I'm I'm all for that. So um, I, I, yeah, I've done it. I've done a couple different decks with Prankster Neverglade. The first deck that we did with them was really not any good. Um, but the second version was better, even though we were playing Monkey Prankster and playing it on Meme Tier Monday. But it was a lot, a lot closer and a lot better of a deck. And there's a link to that. All right, but there we go. That's Indoor Spiders. Um, yeah, I was, I'm honestly pretty disappointed by this. I, I thought that we were going to be doing pretty well with this. I really did. But I don't know, it didn't feel, I don't know, it didn't feel great. It, I thought it was going to be better than, than what it felt. Um, I would be, I would definitely be interested in trying out Callista as a 4-3 instead of Skitter as a 3-2. Skitter just, you know, 3-2 just didn't really match up that well. But Callista is like a must kill and a 4-3. I'd be interested in trying that out. Um... I can't imagine Callista attacking and getting they who endure, but it's probably amazing if that scenario ever happens. <laughs> That's probably amazing. And yeah, have some like Neverglade collectors to drain. Uh, yeah, that'd be pretty interesting. All right, but there we go. So that, that's Endura Spider. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave some comments. Let me know what you think of these changes with Callista Neverglade. Maybe maybe two Neverglades and a Vengeance. Uh, you know, like that kind of thing. Let me know what you think of those changes instead of Thresh and Trindamir. Um, yeah, leave those comments. All right, but um, wait, Callista doesn't revive They Who Endure. Okay, because this... it. Okay, because it just, it's when it's summoned, it gets bad, but it's just a 1-1. One, one. Okay, so yeah, so that doesn't actually happen. Darn. So, yeah, so Callista's not really reviving anything that's good, is it? But it's still just a good threat. I mean, you're getting, like, Avros and Sentries. <laughs> Neverglade Collectors. Um, but yeah, alright. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.